Class is back in session at UTC, but COVID is not taking a break. What does that mean for UTC students? We will have the answer. But the precaution didn't stop welcome week here at UTC. We will look back at some of the events. I'm Kayla Figures. And I'm Chauncey Figures. Your news start now. Mocks are back for the fall semester, but things are not quite back to normal yet. Due to the spread of the Delta variant of COVID-19, masks are required in all classrooms, labs, and the Mocks Express shuttle. Everyone must wear a mask in these areas, even if they have been vaccinated. However, students and faculty will have full access to classrooms, common areas, and facilities with no requirements for rotating schedules. Free rapid and PCR COVID-19 tests will be offered at the Collins Annex. Vaccines are strongly encouraged by UTC officials. University Health Services will offer clinics for Moderna and Johnson & Johnson vaccines. Watch your email for the dates and times of these clinics. You may need a booster shot for COVID-19. Health officials have been monitoring the real-world performance of the COVID-19 vaccine to see how long protection lasts. The vaccine authorized in the U.S. continues to offer strong protection, but the Delta variant is taking off at the same time vaccine immunity might be when for the first people vaccinated. Despite the threat of COVID, UTC returned to campus for the fall semester. Incoming freshmen returned to McKenzie Arena for the traditional campus convocation. While there, they learned the school fight song as well as the do's and don'ts of being a mock. This past Wednesday, a big party was held at Lupton Hall. Lupton opened last year after the extensive renovation, but this is the first time for many to see it. Timothy McCurry has the story. The party held in the first floor of Lupton Hall was a collaborative effort to show off what each club on the floor offered to the new and returning students. All of the clubs offered different activities to the student body, including a VIP section offered by the Multicultural Center, a game room offered by the Women's Center, and a dance floor where everyone can come by and bust a move. The event was also a good way to show off where all the offices were, as said by a member of the Center for Global Education, Bailey Davison. So we actually moved offices a year ago as well, so it's nice that we get to show students where we are. It also served as an event where people of all types and cultures can have fun, as stated by member of the Center for Global Education, Amy Horrendous. I love that UTC is trying to um, include all students and make it more diverse. I think that it's great because a lot of different kinds of students have come out and they've come together and I think that's what tonight's all about. Local student Tristan Dean went to Club Lupton as his first event on campus and not only loved it, but he will be sure to come back to Lupton Hall very soon. Just Lupton Hall. This is Timothy McCurry from Mox News signing off. 
Hi guys, summer is almost over, but not to worry because the heat is definitely not letting up just yet. We're looking at temperatures in the high 80s and low 90s for the week ahead with a high of 94 degrees coming up on Tuesday. After some scattered thunderstorms today, conditions will be partly cloudy from Saturday through Tuesday with isolated thunderstorms predicted from Wednesday all the way through next weekend. Grab those raincoats and that's not all. The humidity will remain high all next week, ranging between 69% and 89%. I'm Ryan Brooks, and that's all for the weather today. Now here's Chris with sports. The Chattanooga Mars has taken some days off from practice as classes start, but that doesn't stop the news from coming. The SCS coaches poll lists Chattanooga at number 18. The Mars are the highest ranked Southern Conference school with one spot ahead of VMI at 19. Sanford, ETSU, and Furman also received votes. The Mars will kick off their season opener September 2nd at Finley Stadium versus 25th ranked Austin P. Season tickets are now available at GoMars.com. College football is right around the corner and the excitement is in the air. The Associated Press has released its top 25 college football teams for this upcoming football season. The defending national champion, the Alabama Crimson Tide, entered the AP poll at number one for the fourth time in six seasons followed by the Oklahoma Sooners at number two, the Clemson Tigers at number three, and Ohio State Buckeyes at number four. And to round out the top five, the Georgia Bulldogs. You can find the full list of the AP Top 25 at MarksNews.com. In more football news, the Las Vegas Raiders became the first NFL team to announce publicly a plan made possible by the new director to require vaccines and not masks. Starting at the Raiders' September 13th home game against the Baltimore Ravens, fully vaccinated fans will not have to wear masks. The Las Vegas Raiders also announced spectators who have not received a COVID-19 vaccine, the stadium will offer it to them prior to home game. That's it for sports. Chauncey and Caleb, back to you. Thank you, Chris. Because of rain, a number of Welcome Week events had to be canceled or rescheduled, but a campus favorite came off as planned. Here's the story. Clumpies is here, you know, students are getting free ice cream and Mox Dining is here to promote that we're hiring and talk about meal plans while they're enjoying the ice cream. We're really delighted to give out free ice cream to all the students that, that care to have some. Oh, it's going great. I love the uh, first day of class. It's a tremendous opportunity to say hi to students and uh, put a smile on their face as they walk into their first class. R&B star R. Kelly appeared in a criminal court on Wednesday, this time for opening statement in his long-anticipated federal trial arising from years of allegation as he sexually abused women and girls while pursuing music. An anonymous jury made up of seven men and five women had been sworn in to hear the case. The trial coming after several delays due to the pandemic and on a coronavirus precaution restricting the press and the public to overflow courtrooms with video feeds. The ARC has a new way to get in shape and burn off some calories while having a lot of fun. It's a room dedicated to cycling. Let's take a look. That's this edition of Mox News. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to keep up with us on our Facebook page. We're also on Twitter and YouTube. Have a good weekend.